Hi, I'm Steph, and this is Tosh, and that is Mac. So these are my two greyhounds, and two weeks ago, Tosh got a really bad cut, and she had to go to the emergency vet, and I put, a, I did a whole video about that, which I'll put a link to below. But exactly two weeks later, I took her to the small dog park to run for the first time. So I took her with my dog, Mac, and with uh, the two greyhounds across the street. And we took them to the dog park, they ran, and then another dog came in um, who was not a big deal, but the um, Tosh got really, really excited, which then made Mac really excited. And they got so excited that I think what happened was Tosh and Mac were running and Mac's tooth went into Tosh. So I'm gonna show you a picture, and if you don't wanna see it, go to this time code so you don't see it, but it's uh, it doesn't look that bad, but I could tell right away that it needed to be addressed. First of all, I was like, oh my gosh, did this just happen? Did this just happen? Two weeks after she got hurt the first time. Um, so I loaded her up in the car and I took her to the emergency vet, but this time her cut really wasn't that bad, even though it needed to be stitched up. And this was about 4.30 that we got there and we were there until about 8.30 and we were still not seen. Um, they were, it was a super busy day. This was a Saturday, so super busy and Tasha's cut was not life-threatening. So we were not seen. It was really tough because the dogs needed to eat. Mac was home, she hadn't eaten. So we finally, we just left. Um, we did ask and they thought that she could probably make it till the morning. So we left and took her home. She didn't lick it, uh, the cut, because she was super tired because she had run and then been at the emergency vet for, you know, five hours. So um, I took her back the next morning at 7.30 and they got her all stitched up and all was great. But one thing they wanted to do is put a cone on her so she wouldn't lick the area and um, I did not, I knew she wouldn't like that. So um, I luckily had just bought these cool shirts, Greyhound shirts. These are actually from Hound Tea. They're a company in Australia. And I had just ordered these because of the cut that Tosh had gotten um, and it's on the other side of her. Um, and so I'd ordered these for the dogs and this one, oh here, you can see there is the cut from before. So this is the that first cut she got and you can see it's healing so well. You can barely see it. And she's still, her hair is still coming in a little bit. But the new cut is actually right around here. So I've been covering her with this shirt and this is a great way to look stylish and cover a cut. So she's been doing really well with that. I have two of them. One has no neck piece right here and then one does. And I got the neck piece in case, so like I would have put her in the one with the long neck for covering that one. But for the cut on her back, this one works perfect and she has no problem wearing it. It's a little awkward to put on her, but it's really not that big a deal. And they're made for Greyhound, so it's like the perfect fit. She wears a medium in this and so does Mac. So Mac wears the same size, which is nice. So I just wanted to share that story with you because I could not believe that she got cut two weeks later and had to go back to the emergency vet, uh, but she's doing so well. She had to be on antibiotics again, obviously, but she's doing really well with that. And she did well with the pain meds, um, kept those to a minimal. And they are external stitches, so she's gonna have to have those removed in um, about a little over a week. So I will get those removed and I think she's gonna do well. I've been taking a picture of the wound every day and it's been doing really well. I think it kind of looks like a football. What do you think? Do you think it looks like a football? Like the stitching on the top of a football? But she's been doing really well. She has not been licking the stitches because it's been covered. She is licking my hand, <laughs> which is always really gross. But I gotta say, I'm a big fan of the Hound Tees, so I'll put a link to that so you guys can check it out. Um, they are great. And I wanna order more, but they are out of, <laughs> they're out of a lot of sizes and uh, designs that I like. So I'm hoping they get restocked and I'll order a whole bunch more. Also, this emergency vet bill was about $600. Uh, her last one was about 1200. And if you're wondering, they are both in matching Lego beds. These are from the Lego Target collection from last uh, December, I think, is when they had that collection out. And they love to be in my Lego room, which is the room they're in right now. I have a collection of Lego things. So that's why they have Lego beds, because they're in the Lego room. And she's out, just sleeping, you know as greyhounds do. But thanks for joining and I hope you have a great day.